Debate is a battle with a clear winner and a definite loser. Two sides fight for a prize. The judges vote. Public forum, or PF, is a style of debate meant to be accessible to the average citizen. It exists in contrast to policy debate, its more technical and more traditional counterpart. Public forum has two sides, pro and con. The words af and neg, short for affirmative and negative, borrowed from policy, are interchangeable. In a round, a team can be picked to debate either pro or con, so they should be prepared to debate both positions. The pro or af side agrees with the resolution. In our current example, cats are better than dogs. The con or neg side disagrees with the resolution. Cats are not better than dogs. Each side is a team composed of two people, the first and second speakers. Four people total, two versus two. A 41 minute PF round consists of eight speeches with four speeches per side, two speeches per person. Either pro or con can start the debate. The speeches alternate, first pro speaker, then first con speaker, then second pro, then second con, etc. At any point, either team can take prep time, up to a total of two or three minutes depending on the tournament. A judge will watch each round to decide who won. In the first speech, called a constructive, the first speakers from both sides present their cases, the pro side making their arguments for the superiority of cats, and the con side arguing for the merits of dogs. This is each team's offense. In the second speech, the rebuttal, the, speakers, the second speakers disagree with all the points made in the constructive speech. Perhaps the pro says that no, dogs, dogs aren't actually man's best friend, and the con side says no, cats aren't actually as low maintenance as pro would like you to believe. This is each team's defense. In addition, they'll frontline arguments, answering the answers from the opponents. The third speech, called the summary, is back to the first speakers. What do they do? Surprise. They summarize the debate, emphasizing their team's strength and the opponent's weaknesses. The summary process, called collapsing, emphasizes the best offerings from each team. Perhaps the pro side doubles down on their cats are low maintenance argument, while Khan chooses their overlooked dogs are useful argument. Lastly, the final focus, given by the second speakers. Here, each team focuses on the offense that they believe shows they are winning, elaborate on it, and explain why it's better than the other team's argument. This is called weighing, illustrating why your arguments are more likely, more important, more on topic, or otherwise better than your opponents. In this speech, the con side could try to win on their guard dogs are necessary for the coming apocalypse argument, noting that the pro side never gave an adequate answer, and that having a useful pet is much more important than a low maintenance pet. Immediately following the two constructives, rebuttal, and summary speeches, debaters will have an opportunity to ask each other questions in a section called Crossfire. Questions can be used to clarify ideas or to set traps for the other team. This whole process is officiated by a judge who gives their decision about which side won. Even though she is a big Corgi fan, the judge will try her best to remain unbiased and choose as a winner whichever side actually debated the best. The judge will also assign speaker points to each debater based on their speech and presentation skills, rather than their technical debating skills. One way to illustrate the dynamics of a debate is as an assault on a castle. In their constructive speeches, each side builds a wall for their castle. In the rebuttal speech, each team tries to deconstruct the other team's wall with refutation. The crossfire period gives them a chance to gather ammunition to throw at the other team's walls. Anything stupid or incriminating that they say can be used to discredit their ideas. In the summary speech, they rebuild the walls by answering the other team's key refutation, by rebutting the rebuttals, putting the knocked over bricks back into their castle wall piece by piece. By extending or repeating their own rebuttals against their opponents, they can try to thwart the rebuilding efforts. By the last speech, the final focus, most of the job is over and the dust has settled. The job now is to present our wall to the judge as a bigger, better, and more shiny wall than the opponents, by framing everything that happened in a previous speech in a better light. We have a final opportunity, therefore, to win the judge's vote.